Well, the question I've been asked a lot today as a meteorologist is how the southern half of Buffalo could see so much snow, five to over six feet. Well, to the north, they saw far lesser amounts. The reason is we're not talking about a garden variety storm system. With lake effect snow or snow squalls, what we're seeing is very cold air pushing across relatively warm water of Lake Erie. If the air temperature is at least 13 degrees cooler than the water temperature for those prevailing winds, the result is that that moisture is picked up off the lake and then east of the lake or downwind is then released as heavy snow, highly localized, but very heavy snow. And we definitely saw that 13 degree difference between the prevailing winds over Buffalo at minus 15 and the surface temperature of Lake Erie, which is in some places over seven degrees Celsius. That's very warm water for this time of year compared to the very cold air that's working across it. The result, five to over six feet of snow. Now we do have a garden variety storm system that will continue to bring light snow from southern Ontario through western New York today. That's not the big snow. In fact, Buffalo is getting a bit of a break right now from that heavy lake effect snow. It's over the Niagara region. But as we look ahead to tonight and over the next 24 hours, in the wake of that storm system, another band of heavy lake effect snow will set up right over south Buffalo and we'll continue to see more heavy snow continue Thursday into Thursday night finally clearing out on Friday. Temperatures will start to improve through the weekend, but another 20 to 40 centimeters of snow on the way for Buffalo for Thursday, tapering off to flurries on Friday, finally warming up with some relief in sight for Saturday.